Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Long War Run uh, where we are trying to beat the game uh, and let's rather say the mod <coughs> on uh, Beta 1 on the highest difficulty. This here is the liberation mission for the first area and if you wonder yourself, hey, how bad can a liberation mission become? Uh, just think about uh, how bad it is once you've pulled the entirety of the map, because that's exactly what we just did. So, unbeknown uh, to uh, those who just start uh, watching this episode, there are about six or seven enemies back here. Uh, a Viper and a um, Captain down here. A bunch of soldiers that have moved up to here and a few further sectors plus vipers over here uh, plus a few um, uh, zombies that are now starting to move up so it's actually going to be quite interesting to see how we're um, handling this and with that being said let's jump right into the action first things first let's kill the loss without spending ammunition here. I would like to make sure that our flanks are being covered. So let's move over here. Can still close the door if needed. Oh, look at that. We caught the sectoid with his pants down. That's exactly what we want to see. A nice little flank shot. Well, that's good enough. It's a start. We can kill the sectoid. Um, in order to do so, let's move in. And that should also give us an appreciation of who else is in there. Oh my gosh, it's so many enemies uh, that the game is starting to slow down quite a bit. Ah, uh, there's a mech. Well, that is suboptimal. So if we were to hit this sector, we can still come back and stand in full cover here or take a stand on top of the roof all right let's start uh but wait a second before we do that let's see do we have any 100 percent shots no we don't that's too bad how about with our sniper all right that's a kill Thanks to the Between the Eyes mod. And we could hit some of the zombies, which I rather would like to take a different target, to be honest. Okay, so a few removes in. This here is a kill. Perfect. We're moving up to two focus, which is good. We need to deal with the mech, though. Is there a chance to hit it from here? No, we can't. Don't want to move in. This here seems a better position. <coughs> Still full cover, but high ground. Which is kind of a sweet spot. Okay, we got an extra action if we would need that. And let's see if we can kill the mech. 
Very nice. We got armor penetrating rounds. Super helpful. You gotta be careful here with the remaining enemies. Don't want to move too far ahead. Part of our position is really to have, uh, or part of our strategy is really to have this uh, nice little position here. Moving Roby out of uh, the poisons area. He, he had been poisoned before. <coughs> um, so that's really not a big change to the situation beforehand. We do still have two soldiers over here, an elite trooper and a normal trooper, and we need to deal with both of them. Uh, plus these guys here are going to be an issue. Can't really do much about that yet. Hmm. I'd like to move forward and <coughs> aggressively use the flamethrower and maybe this position here will better suit those needs What's over there? because if they, if they advance here in the alleyway we can still use the flamethrower in order to hit them right Good, so Overwatch here. Overwatch. I think we're going to close the door almost. Moving into full cover here. So that we can use a couple of the letters to get up. Um, Sane here is really more of a melee character, and at the moment we really don't want anyone going into melee. Since we can't take any other shots, might as well try to kill one of uh, the two zombies. It didn't work out as well as it could have. So let's try to gun one of them down. All right, good enough. We're going to close the door. And let's overwatch. Fury here is the last one uh, to move, and I would like him to take a cover position up here, or alternatively here. I think here is better because it's completely out of line of sight of everyone, so, so we should be fine. Good, now let's see how this one here plays out. One more overwatch. And everyone should be out of view from the enemy. Or in full cover. There are still plenty of losses that Advent can deal uh, with. Clever. Clever bastard. I like it. We can execute that soldier next turn. Rocketeer, still over here. He hasn't used his rocket yet. 
which is a bit of an uh, issue, to be honest. <laughs> that is line of sight. So they are focusing on Fury. I can't blame them. It's probably the easiest target to hit, but he's still in a decent position. Alright, Roby is bound. Roby still has one po hit point uh, of protection left, so we're still in the flawless territory. I haven't taken any extra damage yet. Good. Time for the loss. John Mira is no longer poison. Well, at least the poisoning has stopped, which is good. Ready to engage. You know what? Let's try to kill this guy over here. Really solid hit. Love it. Good. Time to deal with the Viper. Okay, yep, this here should at least hit her, if not kill her. Nice little critical hit. Wait a second, so we do have Blade Master here. Blade Storm, yeah. But Bind unfortunately ignores Blade Storm, so she still could bind us. Roby, however, could use Knife Fighter. She's going to do. Just executed, uh, just executed her. I see Lalarium Core. We need to move him, and no matter where he moves, he's going to be repoisoned. But we can heal that. Certainly don't want to leave him out in the open. Let's take a look what our closest enemies would be. So we know there is a captain over here, right? There uh, still seems to be a lost down here. At least we just saw him. This guy just killed himself. 
This guy moved over there. Got ourselves a zombie up here. I mean, I am inclined to simply charge in and beat the living hell out of uh, the sector. Don't get me wrong. That would be fantastic. Hmm. I mean, we could continue staying up here, I guess. See, I can could move up here. Or alternatively, we could overwatch, which would probably be almost a better idea. Reload overwatch. We do not have a sniper. Hmm. like to deal with the disorientation first and like I said if we could kill the sector the zombie would die as well problem with going in that deep is we might trigger other packs yeah I mean you know we could essentially really attack him kill, kill the uh, sector and then move into this tower but we know there's at least one two three four enemies here five not sure if that is the cl most clever idea or if we just leave them with the loss for now We could use teamwork. Also not a bad idea using teamwork uh, to get another parry. Hmm. I don't want to leave this position. It seems pretty damn good just from the angles that we do have. But we need to deal with a zombie. Uh, we could move all the way up to here. Blocking the ladder, we would be definitely out of line of sight of everyone. And we could use the flamethrower. You know what? I'm going to do that. I actually think that's a decent idea. We're so far out of line of sight. What? What? Wait a second. All right, so much for a flawless mission. Dark Tower Noxus just got hit. Alright, it's burning, so it's not going to be able to do anything. But let me investigate real quick what the actual F just happened over here. Did the sector move up here? Oh, holy shit. You must be kidding me. All right, 50-50 to kill him. Oh, 
Of course. Hmm. Do we have another soldier who could finish him? Yeah, Roby, but we don't want to get him poisoned. Yeah, that's not the best position. This one here is not a bad position either, but not phenomenal. So if we were to position ourselves over here. Yeah, we got a stand gun. Oh, just unfortunately not the most accurate gun. Hmm. This here definitely would be an option, full cover. But I don't like our soldiers to be grouped up because uh, that just motivates the rocketeer to use his rocket. So this here looks like the best spot, although it's pretty damn far away. Has no flanking options and is super far away so that it's not close to anyone else. Plus, there is a decent chance that we can kill the sector. Of course, we're missing. Okay, that stinks, but we can't change it. Which means Zirkim does not get his overwatch, but instead moves over here. And... Kills the sector. Did we just also... yeah, okay. I wouldn't have even needed to use the flamethrower to begin with. Hilarious, if you think about it. Alright, so now we're doing a little trick here. Templar goes into parry mode. We're going for teamwork. And this should take good care of the captain. There we go, captain down. We got a rocket here, a viper. To be honest, I think we're go I I'm going for another parry. That way we do have two parries and we're in full cover. Can make the Templar the target. And Roby's not going to move, we're just going to reload with him. If he moves he's poisoned, we don't want that. And so far we have taken very limited damage. Alright, that will be parried. Or not. Great. Thankfully we do have revival protocol and this guy is going to be so dead next turn. Let's parry number one. That's parry number two. I'm under fire. Very moderate losses so far. 
We only took one real point of damage. Everything else was utilization of cooldowns. And there's almost another swarm nearby. Plus these losses here seem to deal quite well with the enemies. Yeah, we're going to get him. All right, Roby moves up. Into unfortunately only half cover. So. Now nah, I'll I'll definitely let the loss uh, stay down there. Let's kill the stun lancer. Roby, you had one job and one job only, and you effing failed at even that. Disappointed. Let's kill that stun lancer. I wouldn't have guessed that we that our sniper had such a such a really decent position behind that uh, light pole. At the beginning of the mission, this was just an interim position. There we go. We got Zir came back from being unconscious. Reloaded and we are looking at, I mean, that's actually not the worst idea to try to kill him first. Okay, fair enough. Which means we gotta resort to different means. Uh, the Grenadier definitely needs to die. We can't let him live. I'm sorry. Okay, we could go back into half cover up there, or we're just moving into full cover here, which I think we're going to do instead. Fury goes in and out. Gotta be careful on this side here. I'd like to hit uh, them in melee, so let's move up here for now. This is out of line of sight. Much better position for melee next turn. Dark Tower reloads. Let's do this. Again, moves to here. And eh, I don't think we need it right now. Instead, let's overwatch. Closing on target position now. 
I think that's a good, uh, very good position here. It will force him back. And if he continues moving uh, towards us, we're simply going to uh, he we're simply going to let him run into Overwatch. So we got a Viper, a drone, a uh, pretty injured soldier, and a very injured uh, sector. Not sure why the Viper is now ignoring the loss. Everyone instead seems to be shooting, tries to hit uh, full cover. Okay. Thirty-one hit points. Holy shit! Well, luckily we got Perry. I don't know how how we're going to deal with the berserk. Elsewise, most of the enemies are now pretty beaten up to the point where even smaller guns can kill them. But just when we thought that everything would be fine, out of nowhere the Berserker appears. Any lost. Oh my gosh. The drone is down. Good job, guys. Well done. Well, now it's a question. Are we going to continue attacking? Or are we just going to... Leave all the enemies be and wait for them to kill one another. Totally like the idea of killing that sector back there. Very nice. Which now means we, if we were, to, uh, if we were using a flashbang grenade, could we hit all three of them? Probably not, but hitting two is pretty damn good. So, that, as a free action, is a good start. The question is, are we going to stay here or are we going to move a bit back? I like the idea of the high ground. I don't like how many enemies we're facing at the moment. 
So if I were to kill someone, the Viper over here would definitely be a good target. We could kill this guy over here easily. And then further move back. Which would negate a lot of the actions that the Vipers could do. Like if we're killing this guy... What are they going to do? Probably nothing. They could poison spit, uh, but I'm not terribly afraid of the poison spit as well. Let's position ourselves here in full cover. I like that idea. Yeah, we're not killing the guy in cover. If we were to use a flamethrower, we wouldn't be hitting anything. So, might as well start uh, kind of chugging down the berserk here. Obi moves into full cover as well. I guess that'll be okay. Yeah, let's continue with the Berserk. Like I said, let's continue with the Berserk. Let's double check if we were to end our blue movement around here yeah that's still plenty of movement to get to other soldier that we actually want to kill the reason why I'm taking kind of this intimate position here is we still can take a, a couple of shots with our pistol essentially killing these guys here. But the submachine gun falls off rapidly over a longer distance. That's one down. Nah, don't want to do it, only the 100% shots. That's the hit I was looking for. So, that means... We only need to deal with the Berserk and the two Vipers here. Oh fuck, I forgot. Oh. How could I have forgotten about the mech? Okay, so the mech is an issue. Mech is actually a real issue.
And here's the deal with the Mac. Why it is such a pain in the ass. The Mac knows that we're on top of uh, the building, which means it'll do whatever it is it can do in order to um, use its rockets to get us down. Moving a little bit closer, maybe we can use Haywire protocol to disable it for a round. Try not to break this one. That would salvage the situation. Okay, 60%. Fair enough. Good. Ooh, problem avoided. As wise, I would have needed to use, use our infantry in order to take a couple of shots. It's only shut down for one round, so gotta be careful there. Berserk is still pretty damn close. So let's move to here. Fortifying. And let's get rid of one of them. One that is the closest. Okay. Since we're fortified, we can move into half cover and it still is considered full cover or it would still be as good as, as, as if it would be full cover. Question is, do we want to do that really? Hmm. Probably not. These two here are fine. We can just leave them where they are. I almost feel we're better off just reloading and keeping the position. I could go to here and take a shot, yes, but to to what extent? What am I trying to accomplish? Could move very aggressively over to here. That's actually not the worst idea, thinking about it. The problem here is the fire. The other option would be moving up to here. We could be grabbed by a viper. Which would massively stink. There's one more viper down here. This here would be blocking entrance to the rooftop for the Berserk. And we can deal with a mech next turn, which we really need to do. Problem is, we need two shots in order to deal with the mech. And the other problem is I don't want to stand in half cover, but the mech is too far away to give us any other option. We could move all the way up to here into full cover. But then we would be in range of the Berserk. Not a good idea either. No matter how you turn it, the mech is going to the mech is almost forcing our hand. Um, but we do have a sniper, so maybe he has a line of sight. You know what? Next turn we we still have teamwork, so we could use uh, that at a la later moment. Yeah. Hmm. It's actually a tougher decision than you might think. 
to be honest, you, you probably uh, smile as a viewer and and think that uh, this is a bit too f uh, too far uh, far forward thinking. But the mech can ruin our positioning up here. We definitely need to deal with it. Many runs fail and many sword wipes happen because you are not addressing the obvious issue, which is rockets um, and rooftops. It's a really bad combination. Uh, so that mech is forcing a lot of our attention. Problem is the Vipers are incredibly good in dealing with half cover. Um, due to their tongue grab and so on. Well, that was a pretty bad uh, move, to be honest. So was that. That was a bad move as well. Okay. That solves most of our issues. Now the loss will take care of the Overwatch. And we definitely got to deal with the Berserk this turn. There we go, dozens of them are moving forward. I wouldn't be surprised if, if we already had a little bit north of 80, maybe even 90 kills by that point. It's just the amount of loss that are spawning every single round and that we're killing is absurd. All right, first things first. Let's do the no regret moves first, which is getting lo uh, rid of a couple of the loss. Target neutralized. Back online. Eighty-eight percent, and we could kill the, or we could shoot the bird, so not necessarily kill it. All right, Fury is going to go in. That's pretty likely. Just need to make sure that he can, uh, that he can see all of the enemies, including the mech. Moving in once. Oh my gosh. Is he finally capable of seeing the mech? No, he can't. Oh man. Let's make sure we're dealing with some of the losses. So he's moving in, wielding his submachine gun and just blasting through 
uh, the enemies here. Good. I think that's pretty much all he can hit for a hundred percent. Yep, I figured as much. So if we're now continuing, stealing seven to eight, good chance to kill one of them fully. Let's continue with Roby here. Roby does not want to move. But Roby wants to kill, including the Berserk. Again, taking the 100% shots first. It's dead. It has to be dead. One down. Two down. Three down. I got it, right? Weapons empty, can engage. Reloading, and now it's time to at least hit the berserk. Very nice. Okay, so let us kill one of the loss, and then it's time to kill the Berserk. Which thankfully we had the flashbang to deal with him. Okay, back to our sniper. So we're moving further up. <sighs> Wait a second. Yeah, maybe we're not moving further. Just want to take a look at at uh, the mech, which needs to be our next target. Can't see it at the moment. Oh, we can. 95% chance to hit it, but we don't have armor penetrating rounds. So now the question is, can the sniper hit the mech? The answer is no. The sniper cannot do that. We're taking away all of the loss. One down, thousands to go. Running dry. And now it's time to deal with the mech first. Which is moving up here. Roger that. Like I said, the mech definitely needs to die first. We're ignoring its armor, so two shots should be plenty to kill it. Minimum damage, but like I said, still enough. So, what we're doing is we're using teamwork here. No then kill the mech, and then we're trying to kill as many vipers as we can.
Good. Now there is still an 80% chance that we're killing that Viper. Of course, we're just grazing it. We could... Yeah, no, nah, we're not using Volt. I'd much rather like to kill this Viper here. Pretty sure we're not going to trigger another pack. What was that? Poisoning is not the end of the world. Because we can heal it. Another Larium core for our efforts. It's good. Good. Let's heal. That'll take care of the poison. And this here will allow us to only have uh, one enemy left over. Nice little crit. We're putting in parry. So technically the Viper should uh, focus us. We're immune against most of her shenanigans. Unless she decides to move up and bind us, which, yeah, it's not much that I can do about it. I am hoping that she instead takes a shot and we're just parrying it. Well, apparently they just like the poisons a bit better. So we're another hour in into this episode and after we killed the Viper, which is going to be pretty much now, I think that's a great moment to end this episode. The last Lost dies. Saiken was trying to kind of infiltrate stealth stealthily but instead we got ourselves into this huge huge mess and we um, exploded half of the base plus I think by now we're kind of netting almost a hundred uh, kills maybe a bit short of that Yeah, but not much less. Good. That's the kill of the Viper. And we're taking positions. Before in the next session, we're hopefully continuing to kill the remaining packs. I will need to make a bit of a math. Um, and calculate how many of the enemies are actually left over. That's an interesting question, to be honest. But before we do that, uh, let's just reload and see that we can get everyone into a solid position without poisoning them, of course. Or in Roby's case, they are already poisoned. 
So we need to heal him. Copy that. Good to go. Good. I think. By healing Roby and reloading, we're in a solid position. So we're taking the upper ground here. Oh, yeah. And it's definitely time for our sniper to also start moving in. Surprisingly long has the sniper had the position behind that pole and surprisingly well has it served ourselves. I'm on it. So yeah, I think this here is a great uh, point for a cliffhanger. We're still trying to neutralize all of the enemies. Let's do a bit of uh, let's do a bit of a calculation. We've uh, killed uh, two drones plus one uh, tower. We've then had a pack of six. So that's nine. We had a wandering pack of uh, sector plus uh, plus viper. That's eleven. We had an adding pack of two vipers plus sector plus a soldier. That's fifteen. We got mech plus uh, three. That's nineteen. And we got another mech plus berserker plus two. That's twenty three. Unless I've forgotten something. I think we're at 23. Not sure. I think it's 23 enemies. We've used a lot of our cooldowns, but it's only one or two more packs, um, including, of course, the boss fight. Every larger... Um, Every larger mission here has a boss. Anyways, with the Lost Seer and uh, friendly greetings from the alien base, I uh, say thank you and see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.